up guys it's your boy tiger bane and we are here for another nba 2k 22 my nba rebuild video and this one's been requested from me it's been in the rumor mill john wall is on the move he's going somewhere we don't know where we don't know when but he's going somewhere he's reporting to the team he's with them but he won't be playing for them this year so instead they're going to look for a trade for him today i believe i have found that trade so John Wall actually had a pretty good season. I know a lot of people think he's washed up and all that. And he's 31 years old, so he's on the wrong side of 30. But he had a pretty productive season last year, and I know it was with the Rockets. But still, 20 points per game, 3 rebounds, and almost 7 assists. Sure, his shooting averages weren't great. But I think as a third option on a team, could be pretty good. And you guys know exactly what team it is. This team is the, the I was going to say the Cleveland Cavaliers, but it's not. It's the LA Clippers. And I've got this sort of deal going on. Eric Bledsoe, Luke Kennard, Marcus Morris Sr. Uh, and a couple of second, and a few second round picks for John Wall, Daniel Tice, and David Nwaba. I don't know if they'll take it, so we're probably going to have to throw in some first rounders instead. Um, I actually don't have any first rounders I can swap. Oh boy. Okay, um, give me one second. Okay, so now this trade will work. Um, I'm just gonna have to override it. The, the reason I think that this trade would, or something along the lines of this trade would actually happen in the NBA is because obviously John Wall needs to be on the move. Obviously, and Houston's in the middle of a rebuild. So getting move, getting pieces that they can flip. I know Eric Bledsoe has a player option. He's got a team option. So they can instantly free up a ton of cap space. Marcus Morris Sr. is very, very, uh, he's good. He's a very valued asset, so they could flip him to another team. And Luke Kennard is 25, he's still young, plus we've got some second rounders. In reality, they probably trade some first rounders, but we're gonna go ahead and make this trade. And this gives us a roster of John Wall, Paul George, Kawhi Leonard, Nicholas Batum, and Sergi Ibaka. I don't know that I like Batum starting there. I really don't know that I like that. But we may have to make some more trades. So. Let's see what else we can do here. I want to trade Justice Winslow. I'm going to flip Tyus. And I also want to trade away a young Isaiah Hartenstein. Hartenstein. We can get Duncan Robinson and Taylor Horton Tucker. We can get Cameron Johnson and Jay Crowder. That actually might be the move to make. Cameron Johnson and Jay Crowder, I'll take them. Absolutely, I will take them. And so we've got Jay Crowder starting for us. He's more of a Clippers player anyway. I think he'd fit well on them. Did he ever play for the Clippers? He did not. Serge Ibaka, Reggie Jackson. Do we need a better center? We probably need a better center. So maybe that's next on the list. Give me a good center. Who's a good center I can go for? What if we flip... I kind of like these two. Nwaba, uh, Harry Giles, and Keon Johnson. Could we can get Victor Oladipo. Actually, I might take that. I might actually take Victor Oladipo, bring in PJ Tucker. And I think I really would like a better center. But Sergio Baca at a 79, he's not too bad. I think that's pretty good. We've got tons of point guards. We've got no real backup shooting guard. So maybe we need to address that. Do any of these guys go up? Oh my god, they all go down. Are you kidding me? Okay. What about small forwards? Uh... Do you, you go down, you stay the same, you, uh, you're Kawhi Leonard, and you go down. Okay, so we need to address, God, we have so many small forwards, uh, power forwards. We need to address the issue at shooting guard. We need a backup shooting guard. Can I sign anyone? Where's, where's free agents? Here we go. I'm, oh, they removed them. Oh, they finally removed them. Oh, thank God. They had all the free agents, all the uh, G League people in here, and they were all like 90 overalls and stuff. It was a nightmare. It was an absolute nightmare. Okay, can I get anyone here? Is that... It's, oh, it's Alan Randolph. All right, never mind. Never mind. I have no good shooting guards. That's okay. JJ Redick just retired, though. Maybe I'll sign... Maybe I'll sign, like, DeMarcus Cousins. To a one-year deal and James Ennis nope okay and Marcus Gasol to a one-year deal and then I'll, I'll flip them that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna flip them 
one. And then sure, we'll throw PJ Tucker in there as well. Get Hassan Whiteside. That's about it. And Royce O'Neal. Yeah, I'll take that deal. I'll take it. Sure. Why not? We're doing a lot of trades today, guys. We're doing a lot of trades today, but we're just we're reshuffling. And maybe I'll do maybe I'll see what I can get for these two. Demarcus Cousins and Royce O'Neal. I can get Brooke Lopez. That's a floor spreading center if I've ever seen one. I get Mason Plumley. That's another good center. He played for the Hornets last year. Did very well for them. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll hold on. Who else do I get? Oh, Jordan Clarkson. Oh, I really want Jordan Clarkson. I really kind of want Jordan Clarkson. That's a pretty good backup shooting guard. Maybe I do that. Is that the best shooting guard I can get? I think it is. Josh Hart plays small forward. Terrence Ross. He's so unreliable in this game, though. He always plays pretty solidly. Ah, okay. All right, never mind. His percentages are garbage. Okay, looks like we're going with Jordan Clarkson. And that's our roster. John Wall, Paul George, Kawhi Leonard, Jay Crowder, Serge Ibaka, and off the bench we've got Reggie Jackson, Victor Oladipo, Jordan Clarkson, Evita Zubat, and Hassan Whiteside, as well as Cam Johnson, Nicholas Batum. Batum was starting for us. He's now the 12th man. Uh, Terrence Mann and a couple of scrubs. Um, so, we're going to roll with that. We're going to see how that affects us. If I need to make another trade, I will. Before I continue, though, I want to check the system proficiency, defense. But he wants to play balanced. Defense is actually going to run better. So we're going to leave it at defense. God, we have a defensive team. Jesus. All right. We're going to simulate through. Hopefully, we do pretty well. Disable CPU trade offers. Don't need them. I will bring you guys in probably around the trade deadline if I'm going to make a trade. Otherwise, I'm going to see you guys in the playoffs. Okay, so we're at the trade deadline. We're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good, but I think there's some minor tweaks that we can make. For starters, we're going to bring in Markeith Morris to join his brother. Um, and that's going to free up one roster spot. Nope, that is not going to free up a roster spot. Instead, we're just going to let Gabe Vincent walk. And we're going to go and sign... Who can we sign? Isaiah Thomas. Can we? We cannot afford you. We're going to sign... Myers Leonard. Why? Well, why not? Is, is the question I ask you. So we can have a stretch four slash five. He's really not going to play. But it's, I wanted to make a move at the deadline. And that's the only move we're going to make. So I will see you guys in the playoffs. Okay, so the season ended and I didn't realize I accidentally skipped past all the all the winners. But that all the uh all the Oh LeBron James is there. Nice. All of the the award winners, but we'll go check him out right now. League history, NBA history. Giannis wins MVP. Rookie of the year goes to Evan Mobley. Andre Drummond, sixth man of the year, defensive player of the year is Giannis, and most improved is Daniel Gafford. Um But we finished with the first seed. We played pretty well. I'm very happy with everything. Kawhi Leonard was... Actually, we'll take a look in this screen. We'll take a look over here in this screen. Season stats. Player stats. Paul George led our team with almost 22 points per game. He had 6.5 rebounds with 4.5 assists. Kawhi Leonard, 20 points, 6 rebounds, 4 assists. So about the same. Um, John Wall, 18 points. Almost 3 rebounds and 6 assists. He led our team in assists. He did. Only 6? Not a lot. So that worries me. But, I mean, he hey, like I said, the third option. And look at his stats. He shot 49%, almost 50% from the field. 34% from the three-point line. And I think, I think that those are his, almost his career best. I mean, his field goal percentage is definitely his career best. He shot 35% from me on the arc one year. Um, he did really well. I think everyone on our team shot pretty good. Markeith Morris... He, I don't think he really played. He didn't play at all for us, so that's fine. He won't play at all for us. Um, and I think we're going to simulate through the play-in. And we're going up against the Memphis Grizzlies, who are the seventh seed. Um, but I think we need to shorten this rotation. Because we're playing ten men, and we're going to go... We might go nine. Can we... Can we... Thank you. Thank you. All right, we'll go nine men. And that knocks Hassan Whiteside out of rotation. That's okay. It's only Hassan Whiteside. He only averaged 6-6. Six and six. Actually, pretty good. 
he's pretty good in the game. I know he's not great to have in, in you know, IRL, but uh, in the game, he's pretty good. And we've got no one lower than, aside from these two, no one lower than an 80 in rotation, which is wild. We're doing pretty good. So let's simulate the first game. I don't envision us having too many issues with the Memphis Grizzlies. We should be able to skip right past them. Perfect. And we're going up against the Denver Nuggets in the second round. So, oh my God, they got Clint Capella. Who did, what? What? Hold on. Hold on. How did they get Clint Capella? How did they get Clint Capella? They traded Aaron Gordon for Clint Capella. Oh my goodness. All right. So here's where we get knocked out, and that's okay. Hold on. We win game one and two and three. Oh my god. We sweep them. We swept them. Let's go. Going up against the Utah Jazz in the... Western Conference Finals, Mike Conley, Donovan Mitchell, Joe Ingles, Eric Pascal, and Rudy Gobert. Rudy Gay's coming off the bench for them now. Was he playing for them last year? No, he was not. Um, all right. Okay. I think we are good to go here. I think we can beat the Jazz. Take game one and two. They take game three and four. All right. We can do this, though. I'm not... Oh, boy. All right, we're gonna have to go into our game plan. We're gonna drop down to an eight man rotation. And I think I wanna make sure that our big guys are getting the bulk of the minutes. Paul George, guess who's playing 48 minutes and Kawhi Leonard, uh, we'll play you 42 minutes as well. So we'll give them a little bit of a break. John Wall, you can play 35 minutes. And Reggie Jackson, you can play 22. What we're also going to do is we're going to go over here and we're going to make sure that Donovan Mitchell is guarded by our best defender, which is Kawhi Leonard. And then Mike Conley is guarded by Paul George. That should work, right? No. What? But... DeMarcus Cousins carried them. We traded him to them. DeMarcus Cousins dropped 21 points for them. And our guys couldn't do anything. And the Utah Jazz go on to win. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I don't think this was a bad rebuild. I, I see you all in the comment section saying that I'm a terrible GM. That's alright though. That's fine. I get it. But I think this was a good rebuild. Yes, we did a few too many trades. That's okay. But... The basis of it is plausible. I think this makes them a better team. I mean, they definitely want John Wall over Eric Bledsoe. Let's be real. He's definitely a better player. Let me know what you guys thought in the comment section down below. Let me know what you would do differently than what I would do. And let me know what team you want me to rebuild in the next one. Make sure you go ahead and hit that like button because it helps the channel out tremendously. It really does. We're on the road to a thousand. So make sure you go ahead and subscribe to your boy. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.